Secretary. Uh, we'll begin the questions now. I will start. We'll have five minutes each. Again, as I said, there's a light in front of it, and when it turns yellow, it means you've got one minute. Uh, Madam Secretary, the fiscal year 2012 budget request includes funding for a number of global commitments the administration has made over just the past two years. A pledge for $3.5 million for agriculture over three years made at the G8 summit in Italy, multi-billion dollar commitments for climate change programs at the Copenhagen, Copenhagen summit, almost $2 billion to fund capital increases at the multilateral development banks, and most recently, a $4 billion pledge over three years to the Global Fund to fight AIDS, TB, and malaria. That's over $10 billion uh, in two years only. In the times we've talked, you and I both and the uh, members of this subcommittee have talked about the high deficits and tight budgets. My hope is the administration will stop making these large, new, multi-year commitments. But the commitments I just named have already been made. I would ask you, in your judgment, how would you suggest that the subcommittee go about prioritizing those commitments? That's a very fair question, and uh, I would answer it um, uh, in the following ways. First, um, if you take our health initiative, which is building on uh, what I saw as very good work that I supported as a senator in the PEPFAR initiative from uh, President Bush, that initiative has given us uh, credibility and a very positive image in many parts of the world, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa, that we believe is right down uh, the line with what we need to be doing. So on the health initiative, I would hope we would continue to support it strongly. We have the infrastructure in place, and we are really viewed uh, very favorably there. On the uh, agriculture initiative, what we did was to look at all the money we were paying in emergency food most of it on a supplemental. You know, it would be constantly tacked on because people were starving and the American people are generous and this Congress was responsive. We looked at that and we said, if we got smarter about how we taught people how to farm, how we brought our own agricultural experts back, because we used to do that in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, our aid went to helping people actually produce their own food better, and then we shifted to emergency, we think this is a good investment that will actually lower the costs going forward. On climate change, I'll give you one quick example. We have very strong allies in the Pacific uh, Island nations. They vote with us in the United Nations. They are some of our strongest supporters. China's making a very big pitch toward them. What we hear constantly is they need help dealing with climate change because they're actually seeing the results. They're having to evacuate their islands. We have a lot of good that we can get in our relations with a lot of these small nations around the world by investing uh, as we have in this budget and trying to help them mitigate uh, the climate change uh, issues. So we, we are not just coming to say these are nice things to do, but we think that they fit into our overall strategy of keeping our friends, building more friends, and stronger relationships that will benefit us in the future. Thank you. You, you did not prioritize, <laughs> but you gave a very good um, lobbying effort for those programs. So I'll ask you uh, again if you'll, as you're, you're applying writing. Uh, I've got some time left. The committee, uh, you know, of course, has supported Mexico yes. in the fight uh, against drug violence. Uh, the appropriations have exceeded $1.4 billion pledged for Merida. Um, I was encouraged last week, I'm sure we all were, with President Calderon and President Obama and that, but the violence continues. Um, last year, the GAO found that performance measures for the Merit Initiative were lacking, and it was difficult to determine if efforts to stem drug violence had been successful. I wrote to you in July uh, asking you to devote your attention to this issue. Um, the response from the department said the government of Mexico would be a close partner uh, in the process. But, Madam Secretary, five months have passed since um, that response, and the GAO testified before this sub subcommittee last week that it will be at least another four months before we have better uh, information on performance measures. As we put our funding together, we will say what works and how can we prove that it works. And these, uh, these programs are far too important to fund blindly. How can and what can you tell us about the progress that's being made, what new goals will be set as efforts are expanded in Mexico, and how long will it take to develop these performance measures? 
Well, we are in the midst of that, and I, um, I share your commitment to doing it. Uh, we have learned a lot from Plan Columbia. We are applying a lot of those lessons. Uh, we, have, we have tried to be careful about uh, uh, putting money out until we could hold Mexican government agencies accountable, which we are attempting to do. And I will provide you with a complete report about that. And I, I so appreciate your support for this, because I happen to think it's one of our most important national security uh, challenges. Thank you. Mrs. Lowy. 